this time of year, it's really easy to get caught up doing all the things in our homeschools. So today, we're going to talk about the things that our homeschool will not be doing this holiday season. Over 13 years of homeschooling, I've made a lot of mistakes homeschooling in December. And one of them is one I see a lot of people make. And that is doing a relaxed schedule, whatever that looks like, without a plan. It is absolutely fine if this month you have a lot of other things you want to do. That's fine. The problem is um, we have all these plans of schoolwork and then it's like, oh, well, let's go do this instead. And then that schoolwork doesn't get done. And then the next day, it's like, let's make some cookies. It doesn't get done. And it doesn't get done. And then the next thing you know, it's Christmas break and you've done very little schooling. If you want to take most of December off, like just entire days off, or you want to only do mornings or whatever, that is absolutely fine. Go for it. But do it with a plan. Do it with intention. Now, go ahead and make those decisions. Truly think about like what, look at your calendar, see what it looks like. Think about what it was like, well, last December may not have been a great example, but you prefer, like, what have you enjoyed doing in the past? Make sure you have time for those special holiday events. January is a great time to do a little extra, January, February, of schoolwork because it's gray and dreary and cold most places. And stay home, do some extra work. Get caught up knowing that you took off a good chunk of December. A lot of people, a lot of homeschoolers purposefully plan to take off like Thanksgiving through New Year. Absolutely, go for it. Just do it with intention. Speaking of changing that schedule around, that's something that we will not be doing this year. We will not be making a full schedule every day. I am purposefully scheduling out time, carving out time to do spontaneous invitation places or to decide that we want to watch a Christmas show or a winter documentary downstairs with popcorn and cozy blankets for those days when we want to play some board games with hot cocoa. Whatever it is, we are carving back time and carving out time in our days so that we have that. Because when you choose it with intention, there's no feelings of guilt of like, oh, we should be doing this. Oh, we didn't get to math today. No, you didn't get to math today because you had intended not to get to math today. And that frees you up to really just enjoy it and not worry about what else you should be doing. Right? Part of that freedom that we have with homeschooling is for the flexibility of doing those other things. You know that most likely your December is going to have some extra things in it. So plan for that. In my next video, I will be sharing three things that we are doing. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss that one as well. Number three, I'm not going to forget to schedule on things that I want to do. It's really easy. It is for me. I'm assuming it is for some of you out there as well. It's really easy to, to fill our month, our holiday season with all the family traditions and the invitations to different Christmas parties and this and that. And then at the end of the day, you're too tired to watch that cheesy Hallmark movie that you wanted to watch or becomes December 28th and you realize that you forgot to make your favorite bacon onion jam snack that you love. One of my favorite um, Christmas holiday snacks or whatever. So I don't want to, I don't want to spend the season forgetting about myself too. I've carved time for books that I want to read. I have some fun fiction books. They're on my calendar. Will I get to all of them? Very doubtful. Will I do them every day? Definitely not, but they're on there and it's going to remind me that this is something that I want to do. I have my Advent books chosen. If you want to know some of the Advent books I've enjoyed, I've got a video 
try to leave it up there and I will definitely leave it down there as well. So choosing those things now before Thanksgiving prep starts, before the holiday season starts, means that I have a much better chance of following through. And making sure that those things that I enjoy about the season happen. And the last thing that I am not doing is saying yes to all the homeschool Christmas things. Yes, we are carving out time so that we have time built in to do different things, but I'm not going to do them all. I'm not going to do all the invites that happen, you know, that people would invite us to and all the different homeschool groups we're in. I'm not going to do all the Christmas stuff in our homeschool. I'm just not. I don't want our season to become a to-do list. I don't want all the fun things to become just one more thing to mark off my list. And if I say yes to everything, one, we don't have a lot of time to do anything else. Two, it becomes for me a to-do list. And once it's a to-do list, it a lot harder to enjoy. Now, if you want to find out what we are doing this holiday season, click the video on your screen and I'll see you over there.